<coughs> Today we gonna talk about to create your tools. How to create a tool for lathe operations. This, this is a for sample part. So we are going to be do for creating tools for this one and how to create operation for this part. So now we, we are checking this one. Let's go. This this is the part. So we have to design what kind of operation we can make it for this part. So when I looking this part, I need a roughing operation for this one and finishing operation for this one and I have to part for this part. So I choose this one for three operation. One for roughing that is for outer diameter roughing and second one for finishing outer diameter finishing third one for potting so i choose for more potting operations so i choose three tools <coughs> so i'm creating now i creating you for the tools so before creating tools you have to understand what operation so what kind of insert you are choosing it so here i'm choosing it here I choose for roughing operation so I choose for middle value of rough I'm not going to for big roughing material because this is small parts so I don't want to need for uh, uh, good sense material inset so I choose him for middle value go with one two three four five okay so it's the middle one 80 this is for C uh, type of inset so we are choosing for CNMG first one then what inside I am using it here's a roughing so I can choose for a uh, big radius inset so it's using for 1.2 radius or pointed radius in mm I'm seeing it in inches 0 0.031 30 tau radius or oh, 60 tau radius or 45 tau radius I can choose whatever I want it here I choose it uh, pointed radius means 30 tau radius inset and finishing operation I choose for D shape inset that is for 55 degree 55 degree so this one I am choosing it for pointed radius for finishing because in our jobs every radius of this one so I can choose it pointed radius is not a problem so I should choose for point eight radius. Here I mentioned the shape, C style, D style, E style. So you can see this file. What are the shape? What the style will be contained? Here we choose for CNMG insert. So CNMG I choose for twelve. That is for this one, and zero four for this width, and zero eight for the radius. This is a grade I choose it for three, four two three five. That's for a roughing grade, good one. And the DNMG fifteen zero four zero eight. Uh, this this is a DNMG, so we are I'm choosing it for DNMG for this one. So now we know that what are the parameter we have it, then we can make it tools. So first I go to N X ten. So this is we have the uh, part already we I created tools for CNMG DNMG but now we create a new one so I can show you how to create a new tools go to the manufacturing file okay file is the manufacturing otherwise go all application uh, manufacturing so uh, so I choose for manufacturing so once you enter the manufacturing right uh, here created tools so go to created tools then sunlight tanning tools so we are going to make it for tanning operation so here i can choose us any type of tools this is a od od back cutting this is a 55 degree od front cutting 55 degree back cutting for this is for id boring this is for id boring this is id back back boring this is for OD group, this is for face group, this is for ID group, OD thread, ID thread, farming tool, tarot, and pocket. This is for center dollar and this is for drill. Choosing for OD 80 degree, that is for CNMG, so CNMG, 
I can enter the data is ENMG 50 04 08 on 4 2 3 5 this is a grade I am choosing it already we have that one name so that's why I put this one for new sorry new so enter so I get the insert here so here I get the insert set but here is what's called the tracking point here what is the tracking point so when you go to the file you have the tracking point over here so all the operation we have to mention the tracking point the tracking point will show how the tool will be moved so I'm showing it a 2 means it will be moved like this way front cutting ID boring bar you can see the boring bar like this the insert will be here so this is called for 2 if it is the OD tool the insert will be here that's I show here so 3 it will be mentioned the 3 the boring bar will be so 2 the same times if it is the reverse standing for OD 4 the reverse for boring it 1 so this is for ID grooving this is for OD grooving this is for face grooving it's a back face grooving so we know all the uh, numbers figure out so now we we understand that this tool which tracking point we have to give see here is a 3 OD 10 tool for 3 so I go over here choose 3 see now we understand we touching the face this side and we taking a jet offset and we touching the OD this direction we taking X offset so we have it here if I change this one to 2 what will happen see we are taking offset over the OD but the tool will be profile will be generate over down of the side so this will not correct so I choose this one for 6 6 will be over here we are not taking this type of offset 1 1 is a center will comes so 7 all will be variation you can see like this way also and finally it will be match only 3 so what kind of what type of method you are taking offset the same that will be so on the tracking point that is called for tracking point so we set the tracking then it will comes here we set the, the C80 on the lowest radius here I mentioned 1.2 or 0.8 here I maintain the 0.8 unoriented angle so this angle will be content 7 degree this depending upon the tool holder and insert shape so uh, whatever the tools you are creating it this will, you can go with the catalog you will find the oriental angle oriental angle means this one so this will be say how undercut is possible to do this tool so I mentioned the 7 degree means it can possible to go 5 degree because we given 2 degree for clearance otherwise what will be happen the, some misalignment the uh, total tool body will be touch on the uh, part so we given the 2 degree clearance so I set it for 7 degree so we can go 5 degree undercut so this was set uh, and you can description for this one so whatever you wanted you can description so I mentioned for rough outer turning tool so I mentioned over here and you can mention here also tool so what tool number you want to give roughing always one number so I give one, one number then you want to mention the tool holder so it's a tool holder here already we set it so we have the tool holder over here otherwise you can change the type you can change the T or something you can change it uh, J K L something you can change this type uh, which type you are using it the same type you can en enter over here so you will get it the tools to description and everything you can access the length wise also and also you can give the tool holder name so here I will give for 
two axis lathe or what is say any machine I mentioned that uh, one number machines number one machine to folder okay. then what so once we did the same way we have to did DNMG also so we did both of them parting we can check with finally so now we go to making a parting tools so we have two tools and finally we are creating a parting tool so when you go to parting tools this is a grooving tool we have to create a parting so I type in parting tool point one wide so I see the point one wide parting tools where I'm using it so enter so grooving tool always with two uh, tracking pad so we have two corner one over here and another over here so see so we have two tracking pad but we are using now only one that is for this one so this is three so we need we are we are taking offset over here we are not, not taking a center of the tool holder so I choose this one otherwise you can choose six so the point will become here so we are choosing 3 so exactly 3 is be there then tool holder this is standard one top side insert uh, orient angle 90 degree so 12 inch insert width 6 inch wide so we are using it point one radius width so I'm choosing it point 0.1 into 25.4 so that is what inch mm 2.54 a moment we are using it 0 0.2 radius okay 0 0.2 radius and this side also 0 0.2 radius so I'm seeing here 0 0.1 inch wide parting tool then the tracking point we set it and everything is set then go to ok so we set it everything now we know that how to create a tool for training operations.